Welcome to an overview of some of the great features in Scrapbook Max digital scrapbooking software. In this video, we'll look at the Scrapbook Max design space and some of the key features of the software. We'll show you just how easy it is to get started making and sharing your wonderful scrapbook pages. Let's get started by opening up a new scrapbook project. Right away, you see that you have a choice to create a new scrapbook or open an existing scrapbook. Since this is our first project, we'll choose Create a New Scrapbook. Notice that you can either start with a blank scrapbook, or you can choose from a selection of several pre-made themes or templates. Let's start with one of the templates. Make sure to give your scrapbook a name, and press OK. We are now in the Scrapbook Max design space. This is where we put together our scrapbooking pages. This is where we can design our scrapbook page. You can add a background, embellishments, photos, journal text, captions, paper scraps, and more. You can also change or delete objects at any time. At the top here is our project menus, and right below it is the toolbar. The toolbar contains objects and functions that we will use most frequently when creating our scrapbook layouts. You can also right click on the page to bring up a list of options. Notice the page tabs right here. You can click on these page tabs to navigate pages in your scrapbook project. If you right click, you can add, import, remove, rename, or duplicate your pages. Now let's move back to page one of our project. To select an object, simply click on it. To move an object around the page, Make sure it is selected, and then simply click with the left button of your mouse and drag anywhere on the page. To resize any object, again, make sure the object is selected, and drag the outer edges or the corners of the border to the size that you want. To delete an object, simply hit delete on your keyboard when an object is selected, or go to edit, delete. To undo the last action, simply go to edit, undo to restore your project. If you want to duplicate one of the objects on your page, and this does exclude the background as there can only be one background, you can go to edit, copy, then go to edit, paste. Our duplicated embellishment now is sitting right on top of our original. This feature can save you a great deal of time when creating your scrapbook layouts. You can select more than one object at a time by dragging and selecting with your mouse. Just hold down your left button and drag the mouse across the objects you want to select. The object with the solid border around it is the dominant object. If you move, resize, or rotate this object, the other objects will be manipulated with it. To add an extra object to your selection, simply hold down the shift button on your keyboard and click with your left mouse button. If you want an object to appear in front or behind another object, you can use our arrange feature. You can send an object to the very back, to the very front, or you can move it back just enough to be covered by another object. Here's a trick. Simply hold the control button on your keyboard and press the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard to get the object quickly into the position you want it on the page. Right now I'm pressing the down button. Now I'm pressing the up button. To rotate an object, simply place your cursor just outside one of the edges or corners and you'll notice a curved cursor. Hold your left mouse button down and rotate the object. Another useful trick when creating your scrapbook layout is the zoom feature for some precision work. We are now viewing our scrapbook at 25%. You can select another level to zoom to by going to View, Zoom Level, and selecting one of the options. Your scrapbook layout will look most clear at 100%. This is how the scrapbook will print. 
Let's go back to 25%. To add a new object to your page, you can select the icon from the top menu, the toolbar, or by right-clicking on your page. I'm going to add a paper scrap for an example. Scrapbook Max comes with galleries for photos, embellishments, and paper scraps. For this example, I could choose one of the paper scraps that come in the Scrapbook Max gallery. I'll choose Construction Blue. Or, I could go to Browse, open up the folders of my computer, and select a paper scrap that I have saved somewhere else. This is one of the great features about Scrapbook Max because you can include content that you've made yourself or that you might have downloaded from another online site. So let's add our paper scrap to our page. I'm going to give our paper scrap a custom shape. Select OK and OK again. You can also drag and drop photos embellishments, backgrounds, paper scraps from outside of your program into this design space. For example, I have a My Documents folder open outside of the program. If I grab a photo, hold my left mouse button down and pull it into our Scrapbook Mac software and let go, it moves our photo into the software. Now we have a choice. If we want to add this photo as a photo, an embellishment, a paper scrap, or a background. We're going to select photo. Our photo from outside of the program is now in the program in just a few seconds. For template pages, it's easy to add a photo by double clicking on the photo spot. We've now created a simple scrapbook layout in just a matter of minutes. When you're done with your layout, you may want to send your scrapbook to family or friends. Simply go to File, Publish, and you can publish to either images, a movie, a slideshow, a photo CD, a video CD, a slideshow CD, a PDF, an HTML page, or a screensaver. With Scrapbook Max, there are many great ways to share your scrapbook layouts. Thank you for taking the time to watch this introduction to Scrapbook Max digital scrapbooking software. We have now covered many of the basic features and functions of the software. If you are looking for more detailed video tutorials, such as publishing your scrapbook or tips on advanced photo effects, please consult our other tutorial videos available online from www.scrapbookmax.com. Happy scrapping!